the competency matrix document. So there is a requirement under 27001 that we have the right levels of skill and resource and competencies to effectively manage and run the information security management system. One of the easiest ways to record it is in a very, very simple competency matrix, which we can keep up to date. The way that we're going to do and complete this is for every employee, we're going to record the names of the employees in this column down the left hand side in column B. Then using the key that's provided where employees are either trained or qualified, experienced, they have a requirement and the requirement is planned or they have a requirement and it isn't planned and there is a gap, we're going to allocate against key relevant skills. The key relevant skills can be changed as appropriate to your organization. The only ones that we're really interested in at this stage are the information security relevant skills. And again, this has been pre-populated um, with the most common industry uh, requirements and skills. You will pass if you have only one employee or at least only one employee or at least one employee that has uh, training and experience or qualification in, in one of these skills. The more you have, the better, clearly. So CISP, CISA, CISM, PCI, DSS, GDPR, or 27001. It's an easy win if you're using a third-party consultant because you can just put their name in there and one would hope that the consultant that you have is trained and experienced and qualified in at least one, if not all, of those. You can see on the right-hand side that there's a business technology section. This is just a value add. It can be useful if there are key technologies that your business relies on um, to understand whether or not again you've got gaps um, in your skill sets around those it could be something specific around coding languages or technologies that you've deployed and clearly a competency matrix then forms part of a wider management of employees and training requirements and personal development but for now, we're just going to record those competencies. And what we want to evidence come the audit is that we have employees that have some level of experience, training or qualification around information security management system and that they know what they are doing. Easy document to complete the competency matrix.